Um, you guys are really good. You know, we got business to do, business to plan out, and you know, we gotta fight a really, you know, break off on my team. On TV, it looked like dude, like, 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 like maybe five minutes in the second half, the shoulders started sagging, they looked kind of defeated in the, uh, in the huddle at least. Could, could you see that on the court? Did no, you see a demeanor change? No, yeah, we, 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 uh, we seen that, you know, they're really, you know, they, they don't got a deep bench. You know, they play seven guys, you know, Ingram and Allen are almost playing the whole game. So, you know, they're, they're bound to get tired, especially with our fast pace. So uh, we knew that. We just kept going, kept going, just kept doing our own thing, and uh, you know they couldn't, they couldn't hang. Can you see them start to shoulder sag, start to some of them, some of them. But you know you can't see that on Plumby. You know Plumby is you know a motor guy. You know he's always fighting, and Ingram kept taking it to us. But you know once it got close to time and time, you know you see it. You see the shoulder sag. How crucial was Jordan Bell's fight like that? Oh, you know he was. He was amazing. He was flying around, you know, getting dunks, blocking shots. I don't know how many block shots he had. You know, I was pushing him, telling him to go get it, you know, and and and, uh, and I'll take his man. But you know, he was phenomenal. Uh, you know, him and Chris are uh, big parts of our team. You know, they protect our protect the rim, and you know, you know, we're you know we're all hands for them. And you had said you know, they that have both phenomenal you games. Great you were calling him the eraser. What would you call? What was the difference today? Shoot, I don't even know. Uh, eraser. Uh, I'll call him Jambalaya. He loves Jambalaya. So. Uh, <laughs> is this the type of performance that can change people's perceptions of you? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, you know, I, you know, I take every game personally, and you know, I want to do the best I can for my teammates and you know, for myself. But, uh, you know, I'm just playing through my teammates, you know, I'm letting the game come to me. And, you know, I've been working so hard that, you know, one of these days it's going to pay off. I meant the perception of work. I mean, you guys are regarded as the weakest one, and everyone's picking to get upset here and there. I mean, you um, just stop doing Yeah, we always get looked down. You know, we always, we always an underrated team, you know. Uh, Coach Allman, underrated coach, you know, our players, underrated guys, but, you know, we worked so hard for this that, you know, it was it was bound to come together. Uh, you guys feel like you're building confidence? We're clicking at the right time, you know, we're making shots, and we're, we're, we're defending so hard that, you know, guys, you know, are seeing new things about them. So, you know, it's a great feeling, and, uh, you know, we we got to you up Bill. Oklahoma. You guys what did Coach K say to you in the, in the handshake line? It looked like he, uh, he stopped you and said something. Um, you know, Coach K is a legend. Uh, he, he just told me that, you know, I'm too good of a player to be showing up at the hand. And, you know, he's right. You know, you know I got to respect Duke. And, you know, I got to really respect them. And, you know, you, and you, and you got to learn from those things. Uh, you know, he's one of the greatest coaches. He's coach one of the greatest players. You know, you always got to keep that in mind. But uh, at the same time, you know, that's my fire. That's my passion. Sure. And, and, you know, that's what that's what got me here today. So I'm gonna take in what he said, but you know, I'm gonna keep doing me. Was he mad about that last shot or about the? Uh, you know, Coach Altman took me took it, and you know, I'm gonna listen to my coach took that shot. Uh, but uh, he's probably talking about the celebration at the end. You know, I was just happy, and my teammates were happy, and you know, it's 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 you know, it's not ignorance, not cocky. You know, it's just just me. You know, being happy to get you know past Duke and uh, you know onto the elite. Day. You know, it's amazing feeling. It's you know, it's a great feeling. You know, we never been here before. You know, coach hasn't been here before, so it's all new. You know, we just we're just coming in with you know a level head, you know, tremendous energy, and it's going to be it's going to be a fun ride. It's going to be a great great game. You're a pretty fiery guy generally, but tonight it seemed like there was something different. You were doing a level. Uh, was there like a little bit of an add-on? Yeah, yeah. You know, Duke. You know, I, I feel like when you play Duke, it's your first time playing Duke. You know, it's it brings something to you. You know, it brings something to everybody. You know, everybody watches Duke. You know, everybody watches the JJ Reddicks. You know, Coach K coaching uh, national championships. Christian Leitner, all those guys. And you know, you just bring your A game. And you know we brought it to them, and it was hard for them to stop us. And you know it took me to all-time level, and now you know I'm just trying to replicate it for the next game. You had super big three in the first half. Yeah, you know they're they're all talk, trash talking. You know I wasn't really trying to say too much, but um, 
you know, it's part of the game. You know, everybody trash talks trying to get you out your game, but, you know, that just makes me go harder and fire, fire me up. How would you explain why you tonight after the was pretty good to crowd? Um, you know, we're just trying to keep, we're, we're just trying to be consistent. And, you know, we're just trying to, you know, do our best every day to get better. And the only way to do that is to be consistent. And, you know, we can't fall off the second half because then they're, they're going to catch back up. We're only up five. So, uh, you know, we maintained it. You know, we kept going harder and harder every time. And we prevailed. 31 wins, and you beat two the national champs. I mean, you know, people are going to take notice of this team, whether you like it or not, I suppose. Yeah, you know, uh, little old Oregon Eugene is on the map now. So, you know, everybody got to watch out. And, you know, it shows, you know, our conference is great. You know, we got great players. And, you know, it shows that Oregon is recruiting, you know, great players to come in here, the guys that want to work, guys wanna, that want to win and do anything uh, for their team and who is all in. So, you know, uh, that's the scariest thing when you got everybody all in. It doesn't matter who's scoring or who's getting the rock or, you know, who's playing. You know, everybody just wants to win. You would think of Casey Benson's production, not just scoring, but also that he had a career high in assists too as well. Yeah, you know, he was he was he was really, you know, dishing the rock and then he was hitting his open shots and you know you know, Casey works so hard. Right. You know, every he's in the gym, you know, in the morning, at night. Uh, he's shooting the ball so well in practice. You know, he had a tough couple hard games, but you know, he was bound to, you know, knock him down. You know, he's so consistent, uh, and you know, Casey's a great leader, and he runs the team so well. And you know, I'm glad to have him, and I know our team is glad to have him too. Why is it that you guys play so much better when it seems like he's on the floor and? Duke's maybe making a run and he comes in and things just calm down. What does he do to, to do that? For because he's so level-headed, you know. He's been listening to Coach for the second year now that, you know, he's been, he adapted to Coach. Right? You know, he's cool and calm and collect like Coach. And, you know, he knows what plays to run. You know, he knows how to get the ball. And he knows when he's open, he's got to knock it down. Because Coach is right behind him telling him to knock it down. So, uh, you know, he's just adopting, you know, the Oregon basketball style of play, and he, and he knows when to take it, when not to take it, and, you know, he knows, he knows when to get out players and not to get out players, and, you know, he's just a, you know, a, a full and great leader. Is there a point in the game where you felt like that was the final straw on the back that they, you know, you broke them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they only play seven guys, so, you know, we knew that they were going to wear out sometime, and, you know, we play ten guys, so, and we got horses on this team, you know, we run all day, all night, and, uh, you know, uh, we're ready for this, and, you know, we're all in to win.